Our company provides the, the capital of Stockholm with electricity and heat, supplying that to uh, roughly 100,000 households and companies in the southern part of Stockholm. Our production is based on biofuels, uh, so we use mainly recycled woods, wood chips uh, and recovered fuels in our production. The heart of our logistics is the terminal of Nukvarn, where we receive and unload trains, store fuels in separate qualities and then transport it into the plant in Södertälje. Handling fuels, which by definition are, are at a high fire risk, we need to reduce the risk for, for personal safety. Uh, but, but the biggest issue, I would say, is that uh, in order to keep the permit for having the operation on this terminal, we need to reduce the risk and the breakouts of fire. You always have a risk with biofuels. You can't set the risk to zero, even if you do the operations 100% right. So there will always be a risk, and then you have to have a monitoring system to, to give you an early alarm. From the start, we had um, a system that was based on manpower, people that were serving the, the piles with, with um, manual detection. But the bad thing about that is that, as you can see here, we have big piles, high piles, and, and as a person you are not allowed to, to walk up on the top. So you can always also only monitor the piles from the side. With a, a thermal imaging system we can monitor the whole storage, from top to bottom and, and all piles at the same time. You can keep uh, historical data and, and look at how things develop from day to day, from week to week, because we know that it's not the actual temperature today that sets if it's a risk or not. It's if you compare to what you have today back to a week ago or two weeks ago, that's where you find the risks. But we also use the thermal system in order to judge if uh, a delivery is uh, fit for storage or not. If we see that we have problem with heat uh, or high risk uh, fuels, we will take them aside and put them on immediate transport to the plant without storing them. If, if we detect the risk, I mean, we, we want to stop fire from breaking out, so we get the firm's first alarms on a, a risk basis. Uh, increased temperature. We get, the, we get notified by SMS or email. Uh, we can send uh, manpower here at once to check it out on the site. The system has, uh, is built up around 12 cameras. The cameras are automation cameras from FLIR systems. A615 cameras which have 640 by 480 pixels. They are equipped with lenses with 45 degrees opening angle and that gives a good coverage over the entire area. Um, and by choosing th this camera with, with a quite high resolution and with a good image quality you get a reasonable or a very good coverage uh, and the small, even the small hotspots can be detected. Uh, due to the sophisticated video analytics the software is also able to suppress false alarms, for example, from vehicles moving in the area. And this way the number of false alarms is reduced to a minimum. A big fire in this terminal will cost us in just manpower and, and machine, machinery something like 80,000 euros. Uh, it's a lot of money if you have it any, every third or fourth month. It's, it soon gets very expensive. In the old days, so to say, uh, there were people that will feel the smell of smoke. Now we are one step ahead. When we see something is going into a risky situation, we can handle it before it breaks out.